Hey everyone, Matt Seuss here, and today I'm going to show you how to add a watermark to Aurora HDR 2018 and as well as Luminar. I've been seeing a lot of people have questions on how to do this, and I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step workflow here. Now, you have to use another program in the beginning to get your watermark. Currently, right now in Aurora and in Luminar, there's no way to add any text at all, so you're going to need something else first to get that file. And I'm going to show you how to do it inside of Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is go up into File and New, and I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to make it 1,000 pixels high, uh, wide by 300 pixels high. I'm going to leave the resolution at 240. 240 or 300, it's, it's not really going to make much of a difference. And I'll leave this as a 16-bit, and I'm going to click on Create. Oh, and I also had it black. So let me just uh, go back here again. I changed the color background right over here to black. Okay, now here I'm going to get my text tool, and I'm just going to type in here, and I'll type in... Copyright Matt Seuss.com and we can't see any of that text, so I'll just select it all and I'll change my text color to white. Okay, and there we go. And I'll just click on OK. And I'll just center that just a little bit. No big deal there. Okay, perfect. So now what I'll do is I'll save that. And I'm going to save it as a PSD, as a Photoshop document with the layers, just in case I want to change my logo or the font or something like that in the future. So I'll just call it copy right and I'll save it as a PSD file. Okay, let's take a look first at Luminar, the original Luminar. Okay, so I have my photo all finished over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on a new image layer. And then what I'm going to do is go into the folder where I saved it. I'm going to select the copyright image and click on open. Okay, now you'll notice that it covers the entire screen. What I need to do now is click over here on the right hand side for the transform tool. I'll click that and then what I'll do is I will drag this down to size. And let's say maybe something like this. Okay, and then I'll hit apply. And now here's where the magic comes in. On your layers, the blending mode, you want to change that from normal to lighten. When you do that, all that black background disappears and then you have your white text. If I want to go and move that around, I can click back on the transform tool and let's say I want to put that in the center. I'll just drag that over to the center, click on apply, and then there it is. Let's take a look at how that works inside of Aurora. Aurora HDR 2018. Okay, I'll do the same thing here. Click Add New Image Layer and I'll go back to that folder and grab the copyright. Click on Open. Now their transform tool for Aurora HDR is over here. I'll click on the transform and this a little bit works a little bit differently. You have to lower the scale. So I'm going to lower the scale and I'm going to lower the Y offset. Now notice how the scale only goes so far. So it only goes down to, uh, to minus, a minus 100. I don't have that full control that I have inside of Luminar. Um, if you have that, if the text is still too big, you're going to have to have a smaller file for your, uh, for your watermark. So maybe instead of 1,000 pixels wide, do something that's maybe 800 pixels wide and have a couple of those files so that you can then bring them right into Aurora and have different options. Okay, once I did that, I'm going to click on Done. And again, I'll change the blend mode to Lighten. And then there we have a watermark there. Now, inside of the new Luminar 2018, uh, we're looking at a beta version right now, so things may change a little bit in here, but as it is right now, uh, all we're going to do is click on Add New Image Layer. And same thing, I will go and grab that file, that copyright file, and click on Open. Now, for, the, for Luminar 2018, the Transform tool is up on top under Tools, and then Transform. And just like before, I will click and drag, scale it down. I'll move this one over here to the center. Click on Done. And lastly, change that to Lighten. 
Okay, so that's all there is to adding a watermark inside of Aurora HDR 2018 and Luminar. Any questions, feel free to email me at matt at mattseuss.com and also be sure to check out my website, learn.mattseuss.com, where I have a number of online courses. And in fact, I just opened up pre-ordering for my Mastering Aurora HDR 2018 course that is going to be coming out in uh, November. And I will also soon be opening up registration for my upcoming Mastering Luminar 2018 online course. So that's it for now. I'll talk to you later.